Okay, thank you everybody for coming today. Um, I'm gonna be real, real quick. So I brought some props with me. So my talk is more about the props than the slides, okay? So what does a smart meter measure? Guess what, we've got three different primary things that are on our homes today. Electric, water, the Neptune water meter is a wireless meter, and the gas meters are now becoming wireless. Um, you can opt out of the electric meter. You can opt out of the gas meter. The water meter is a little more difficult. Okay? They will threaten to turn off your water if you don't agree to get a wireless water meter on your home. It's draconian. Okay? So, um, but you can do something about the electric meter and you can do something about the gas meter. The water meter, I'm not advising what you do with it, but do something to protect yourself. And if you want to contact me about how to do that offline, I'm happy to tell you. But in this form, I can't mention it. Okay? So I left business cards here if you need to talk to me about it. So let's talk a little bit about the, the, the various meters. So I brought some props here, and I'm going to bring them up here. So here is this, the, this common meter that is installed by DTE and Consumers Energy. It's an iTron meter, open way, and it's in use all throughout the state of Michigan and many other states. You can opt out of this meter with DTE, and it will turn the radios off. And I know there's been a lot of debate about whether they really turned them off or not, and I know that. Okay? But I'm warning you right now. If you have a smart meter on your home and you have not opted out, please, for your health, get it turned off. I can't be any more direct. Okay? The Consumers Energy has a unique meter that they use for their opt-out customer called the iTron C1S. There are no radios in this meter. So they couldn't turn it on inadvertently later on, they'd have to completely exchange the meter. And Consumers Energy is deploying these. Okay. Gas meters. Um, I brought the picture that's there. You'll see that if you look at your gas meter, it looks like there's an analog meter on your gas meter, but it's kind of thick. It's about two and, two and a half inches wide. Okay. And that's got a radio in it, and it transmits constantly. You can call DTE and consumers. They will let you opt out of the gas meter wireless section, and they will replace it with a module that removes the wireless component. Um, on my home here in Michigan, they did it for free. Electric meter I have in my home is an opt-out meter from DTE. It's mounted on a post. 60 feet from my building. If you have one of these meters, okay, take a look at your property and see if you can get this removed from the side of your home. Everybody I have coached to do that has thanked me afterwards saying, I feel so much better. That thing is, I don't know what it is, but something changed. Okay. So the proximity of this noise device next to your body is not healthy, okay? So if you can get this removed, it's expensive. I'm gonna warn you right up front, <laughs> okay? It cost me about $3,500 to get mine removed and put into a post away from my building, okay? $3,500. It's the best money I've ever spent, okay? A little bit about the networks. So uh, DTE uses what they call the mesh network. So one meter talks to the next meter, which talks to the next meter, which talks to the next. There's a constant chatter back and forth, okay? Um, and this morning, I was with Ron Melnick, and uh, you know, I was telling him about the number of transmissions per day and the way they say it's only six times a day and all this kind of stuff. Well, that's only partly true. And so I showed Ron this morning in the matter of about 
minute and a half, we had six transmissions of my neighbor's house. I put my antenna and I pointed at my neighbor's smart meter, and he's 100 feet away from me, and I can pick up that no problem. Okay, so it's, it's, it's kind of troubling to hear this, right? So they're constantly transmitting, and I have videos I can provide to you that show exactly what's going on. And it's a little bit scary. So don't believe this, the story that it's only six times a day or once a day or whatever. Test it and find out what it is. And if you want me to test that, I can do that. What's the analog meter look like? Well, guess what? I brought one. And then here's a schematic diagram of what that looks like. So no electronics in this whatsoever, and it does not create any dirty electricity on your home, and there's no radio, and there's no way to get one. Critical to this, you may not realize. We've all had our homes nearby a lightning strike in the past, right? And your home doesn't, wasn't affected, was it? Lightning strike hits one of these things. Something's going to break, okay? <laughs> This has, if you take a look at it, two little tabs here that basically allow uh, a lightning surge or something like that to actually route to ground, okay? There is no ground connection on a smart, on a smart meter. It doesn't exist. Okay, so you get rid of the RF. Everything's good, right? Not quite. There's this thing, we some people call it dirty electricity. The technical term is electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference, that's a, a formal name. Uh, but I'll go with dirty electricity because the vernacular has already been out there for many years. I'm not gonna fight it. <laughs> so I've tested about every solution that's been out there. Okay. And I only have three that I can recommend to be used. These three I've listed. There are others out there you need to be aware of. I do not know who made this thing. I call it my no-name filter. Okay? If you have this on your home, remove it immediately. This is not you all approved. It is a severe hazard. All it takes is a short circuit of some appliance in your home and it will back fee a voltage to the proper improper part of this, this, this filter and it will probably smoke and maybe possibly blow up. Whoever did that <laughs> needs to be scolded. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Um, and it doesn't do a very good job of removing electricity, the dirty electricity neither. So it puts a current on the neutral wire. So let's keep going. We're talking about Wi-Fi. Well, this is what a Wi-Fi router looks like. You can buy them at Amazon for $19, okay? And you can cover it with a thing called the signal tamer, reducing the RF signature because the way things are way overpowered. 